right up here at the top of the screen. And this allows you to uh, move uh, entities around to different layers. It doesn't allow you to edit the drawing. It allows you to uh, modify the layers. So we have our drawing here. And because uh, first thing you'll notice is that these holes are yellow. And they're yellow because this entire part right now is on one single layer. And uh, the holes layer, there's nothing on it. This entire part is on this layer labeled zero. Okay, and when a part is uh, on a single layer, sheet cam auto automatically recognizes the inside contours and uh, makes them yellow. So if I were to put a toolpath on this, uh, I'm going to have um, I'm going to I'm going to use an outer contour, outside contour. Sheet cam will automatically figure this as an inside contour. Basically, when you lay out a tool, an operation, you're going to have one operation for every layer. Uh, if you have two active layers, you have two operations. Uh, so let's let's move these around uh, around the screen a little bit, or, or around to different layers. So we're going to highlight the uh, uh, edit contours uh, tool at the top of the screen. And you notice when I roll over, it turns white turns white turns white okay so when I roll over this let's I want to put these on a layer a, a, a new layer I'm gonna create a new layer for them so I'm gonna roll over it make it turn white I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say move to layer new layer and we'll name it um, uh, layer 2 okay so now that hole is on layer 2 and we can uncheck the new layer too by, you know, you see the hole disappears. Okay, so I want this on the same layer, this hole. So I'm going to right click, and say move to layer, and move that to layer two. Okay, so now uh, when I create an operation, I have two active layers. Okay, so I'm going to have two operations. So I can't uh, just select layer zero anymore and tell sheet cam to do an outside offset because it's not going to do anything with these because they're not on the same layer. So sheet cam works with layers. So what I'm going to do is uh, I would create the operation. I'm going to tell, uh, tell it to do a uh, outside offset here and inside offset here. And I'll have two operations here for, for both layers. Now if I want to put everything back on layer zero, all I have to do is, with my edit contours selected, I'm going to select all of that. I'm going to right click, move to layer, layer zero. Okay, now it's all back on this on uh, layer zero. We can uncheck layer two. We see that nothing's on that layer anymore. So we can uh, we have two layers here, holes in layer two. Let's uh, right click on that hole. We'll say move to layer. Move that one to the holes layer. We'll move this one to the layer two layer. And the reason they disappear is because these layers are not checked. If I check those layers, they'll each come back. Okay, so it's a uh, good way of controlling your um, your toolpaths. So let's say that uh, I had. Let's put everything back on the same layer. Move to layer, layer zero. Okay, so let's say that I I had a, a hole here and I didn't mean to put this hole in, it was a mistake, and I, I just want it gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click, I'm gonna say move to layer, new layer. I'm gonna create a layer called delete. Okay, and I'm gonna uncheck that delete layer. And you see the hole goes away. So now everything I put on that delete layer will go away. Move to layer, delete. So it, it's a quicker way of dealing with a contour that maybe you made a mistake with in drawing uh, quicker than taking it back to Bobcat or Rhino and, and actually fixing the drawing. Uh, so let's... Uh, 
put everything back on the same layer. And, uh, you know, it, having everything on the same layer is the easiest way to do this. Uh, it, it's less work. Uh, sheet Cam does a great job of figuring out these, uh, the inside and outside contour. However, using different layers does give you more control. For instance, if I wanted to create, uh, if I wanted to, if I was working with heavy plate and I wanted to turn the speed way down on these holes to get a better quality, the only way I can do that is to have these holes on a separate layer. Okay, if you uh, look at the operations video, uh, we actually set a job up on this part. Uh, these holes run a separate layer. We turn the speed way down. For these holes, that layer, again, Sheet Cam deals with layers. So if whatever is, uh, if I turn the speed way, way down on layer two, then everything on layer two is going to get that same speed. So if I want to put these on the holes layer, now when I go to do a tool path, I'm going to do an inside contour on the holes layer. We'll use a perpendicular lead. Okay, but I want to use an outside offset on the other layer. We'll use an arc lead. Okay, just like that. Now to move that start point, uh, and I don't have to move it, I could leave it there, but to move it, I'm going to go to my edit start points. And move that. So that's a little bit about layers, moving things around. Uh, in uh, you can copy an item to a layer. Uh, I don't find that all that useful. Copying an item to a different layer would uh, leave the existing contour on uh, the existing layer, but copy it to a new layer. Uh, I don't find that all that useful. Uh, this allows you to select all holes all outside contours. Uh, you can select it by layers or, or all layers. You can select all closed contours. Uh, pretty handy uh, selection tool there. So that's a little bit about layers and how to manipulate them. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.